Oh, oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, I gotta do school and stuff. Uh. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another week of, of, of Roundup, another weekly Roundup video. Um, honestly, I feel like I've picked the worst time to start rounding up any weeks because, I mean, what are we really doing here? You know, I've been in the house the whole time. I don't know how, how in God's green earth I'm going to make this video interesting. Life's really not that interesting right now, is it? Let's be honest, we're all kind of sat at home, like, trying to do stuff. And there's not much stuff to do. Um, what have I done this week? I've done a lot of promo this week. I've been speaking to Alesso a lot this week. He beat me at FIFA. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, I... I have not lost a single game against the man at the moment, and the one that I'm supposed to be quite good at, that I, I, you know, I think I'm all right at, I played like a lemon. Insert lemon. The lemon playing. I'm doing loads of promo stuff. I've been making some some beats and different things as well, um, which is quite fun. I'm getting quite into production these days. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and round up a week for you that hasn't got much in it. So if I achieve this goal, it's a win for me, as Alessa would say. It's a win for me too. So this week. Um, let's start with last week, last week's this week. Um, so obviously I did the video last week of, of me making eggs and um, Gordon Ramsay commented on it saying great technique. I mean, it must have been, must have been the way, you know, I was stirring the bowl. I was, that must have been the techers because I, I can't really see what else I was doing. Maybe it was the impression of Gordon that really got the hang of him. You know, he was great, great technique, Liam. Uh, honestly, watch him, he does that with his hand a lot. And then also Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg gave me Cool Guy With Sunglasses. <laughs> Cooking with Pano needs to be a series. I don't think I've got enough recipes, but that would be quite fun. I could show you guys how to make a nice French toast, sweet French toast. I make this, this weird, like, Mexican dish that you put chocolate in. I can't remember what it's called, but you put dark chocolate in and it's chicken. Petition for Liam Payne to make his own cooking channel. Everybody say aye. Cooking channel's really kicking off. Um, and people have been using the recipe at the moment as well. People have been using it. That looks really good there from uh, Niall Stan BR. Really working that nicely. You know, you know, there's nothing stuck on the pan. It's clearly a very good quality pan. And that, yeah, that's my, me, the, you know, the foot naked chef. I rewatched the whole series of Harry Potter again. If anybody knows the whereabouts of Harry Potter. I mean, you just can't get enough of those series, really, can you? You just have to keep on watching them. Oh, so I started that little challenge last week. I actually forgot that I did this about who, who the person, the mystery person was that I was doing some stuff with, but I'm still not going to tell you who it is. Um, and lots of people commented on that, so please keep your comments coming. And if anyone does actually guess it, I will call you out and be like, mm, you, you know too much. But we get to see um, that guy from EXO. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Back, back young, I want to say. Um, sorry if I got that wrong. Uh, from EXO, um, giving some love for Strip That Down. He recommended Strip That Down by Liam Payne. What a guy, thank you very much. Uh, a lot of people out there who are supposed to be uh, home working, we're all, we're all working from home at the moment. I mean, this is me working from home. Um, are actually not working from home and watching a lot of my vlogs. Oh, here's a good meme, that's nice, I like that. Um, heartbreak Walls, I'm gonna guess that is. Uh, when my mom asks me what I'm doing and I'm watching Liam's new video, science, science stuff. Uh, here's another comment from somebody saying I need to rank Marvel movies in my next YouTube video. Well, I mean, Avengers Endgame for me was just like the penultimate one, but also like Iron Man 3, I like. The one that really missed the boat, one that really missed out is Hulk. Have anyone ever seen like the old thing of Hulk? So bad. Um, unfortunate because it looks like it should work. Um, Spider-Man movies. Can we get to the bottom of this whole Spider-Man movie scenario? Like who even is Spider-Man at this point? There's been about 10 of them. We had that Toby guy, you know? That guy that came in in between them, both of them that was a bit more rock and roll, like ooh, rock and roll Spider-Man. And then we had, um, Obviously, uh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland, I mean, Tom Holland is Spider-Man. What, what am I saying? What the hell am I saying? I might as well just give up now. Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man, but how, how come we've had so many renditions of the start of Spider-Man's life? Like, they just want to keep playing that first episode over and over again with a different person, and it's had more remakes than, I don't know. Ridiculous! Yeah, I've got a load of, of different Marvel stuff in, in this. I was actually, I think, I mean, what have we got here? Let's, please hold. A few inches later. We've got this guy. 
little mini, little mini Chris Hemsworth here. Just... Um, I mean, I don't really actually do anything with these. They just kind of stand around looking, looking nice. Let's see what, what else have we got. Got like this, this, this mini Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. We do everything in reps of five. Get them to the chopper. <laughs> I hope to God that actually scared someone. I mean, this is actually one of the creepiest things I own. I, don't, I actually don't know why I have this. I'm not sure what the, the, the motive was in, within, within the, but I mean, it makes noises. It's just. Yeah, so I've got some pretty weird stuff in my house. Content that's been out there in general. Con great content that I've seen. Content that I like to view. Bella Hadid had, 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 had posted this, this video, a video of this little girl singing. She's so cute, bless her, but it's nice to see people out there, you know, bringing a little bit of light to the situation when, you know, it's it's pretty dark time for everybody and things like that. Well done, uh, Mew Mew, that was really good. Really, really good, I love that a lot. The show Normal People is out at the moment, which I haven't watched. We're about to have a little rendition from it now so I can see what all the hype is about. School, school. Like, school. People go on me like a fancy girl. Don't fancy her. Well, maybe it's because you blush a lot when she talks to you. Oh, let's give away. But you know, you, you blush at everything. Thanks. Oh, he's a, he's a serial blusher. Great. <laughs> You're blushing right now, actually. He's blushing. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh. Sorry. I don't want to get into a fight with you or anything. We're not fighting. I we're, we're not fighting. Probably hate me. But you're the only person who actually talks to me. You never said that I hated you. Oof. Well, Deep and dark, riveting stuff there. I might actually have to give that a little bit of a shot. That's pretty good. There's also a great new show out at the moment in the UK, um, especially for me as a jujitsu fan. Um, have you, anyone seen Gangs of London yet? Gangs of London. So good, right? If you're really young, don't watch it because it's really violent. That is a warning stamp right in the middle of the video. <laughs> Gangs of London, awesome stuff. Fight scenes, everyone's like, you know, people are out there, you know, coming in, giving it one of these, just giving it a little bit of a shot. It's like it's all kicking off. Joe Cole in the starring role actually met him at Vogue party recently. Seems a really nice guy, mate. Wow. I mean, I love Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Is, is is really good. Um, obviously, favorite character has to be Rick out of everybody. You know, he's always like, Morty, Morty, I'm a pickle, ah, I'm a pickle. Oh yeah, gotta get swifty. Like, I feel like I wanna do a remix of Get Swifty. Gotta get swifty in here, no, no, on the floor. Gotta get swifty, oh yeah. Uh I love the system. Fire spreading out around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to dream But that's alright Woo! Love that! Hey! Finn Draper music, wow that was awesome, I like that a lot Make me, make me a song from, from that if you're watching Finn Draper music Okay Here's some, uh, some videos of the week. It's a big snake. Uh, I don't like snakes. But how did you make that language in Harry Potter, by the way? Snake language. Don't like big snakes, don't like big snakes. Oh! Oh, it went for him. It went for him. Oof. Wow! <laughs> what was that? Marvelous creatures, dragons. Oh, let's just like put a beard in. Oh, Harry. Oh, um, Tom Hardy. I mean, I love Tom Hardy. I feel like he's always changing his voice in films. Um, oh, 
Oh, it's Tom Hardy. Oh, hello. Uh, what are you doing down there? Shout out Tom. Got to love him. Um, I mean, other impressions of characters I can do. Let's task something out there. How many times did One Direction sing What Makes You Beautiful in total? I don't know how we find out the answer to that question, but I've got faith in you and I'm sure you can do it, but I'd like to know how many times I sang that song personally. Let's talk about my son. Let's talk about my son. Um, so everybody doesn't know I have a three-year-old son. His name is Bear. Um, he has been extremely funny at the moment. Um, very cute as well. I mean, it's been the toughest time being away from him at the moment. Um, you know, on FaceTime, I've had everything from he was jumping up and down on a trampoline uh, in Wellington boots. Wellington boots, uh, a trampoline, playing a ukulele wearing a princess dress and a fireman's jacket. So we can imagine that. That's what he was doing at the time. Uh, sometimes on FaceTime, he wants to say hello. Other times on FaceTime, he doesn't really want to say hello. And then he's like, you know, when you when you're like someone calls and go away, I don't know, I'll talk to you on the phone right now. My dad, you know, I used to be like that when I was there. My mom would ask me to come on the phone, I'm like, oh. Um, so I can see a lot of myself in him. He did something really cute this week that I have to mention. And he was like, oh, uh, we need you here now, daddy. Bless him, made me want to cry. Um, but yeah, we're all missing friends and family out there at the moment. Um, so, you know, big love to all of my family and friends that I am missing right now. It won't be long until I see you again, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much this week rounded up that was that was exhilarating i feel my heart is pounding after 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 that well everyone that was that was the week that was a nothing week that we've managed to round up anyway um yep yeah, so i'll be in my house you'll be in your house and i'll probably be here again next week doing the same thing with trying to fill time with all this nothingness it's great um, but please, yeah, keep commenting, uh, keep subscribing. I'm really loving the reaction that this is getting um, and I hope to, to have more interesting stuff to deliver you on the next video. Um, but yeah, send me some, send me funny videos, you know, help me, help me out here, help me out with this. It's, um, you know, I mean, what's this doing here, you know? Ah! 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 Thank you very much.